The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Taking it about the one. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And this is incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Draw play, Fields gives to Montgomery. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Bengals drive about to get going. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Flush to his right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And yeah, he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Mike Hilton, always dangerous on the corner blitz, and he gets the sack. Final minute now of the third quarter. Another try after the first down sack. Fields, he'll buy some time right. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. On third and short, they'll try option left. They'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. Back to throw, Fields. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Valus Jones, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Matt Eberthu is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. 
<laughs> Fields trying to throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Takes it at the seven. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. I mean, that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. On the option right is Fields. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields. A 22-yard scamper. And the Bears have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. They'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. And boy, figure this one out. Leading here in the fourth. And now they're going to try an onside kick. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. On second down, here's Mixon. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Burrow. And that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Out of the gun, Fields being chased out left. 
And Field's going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. All eyes on fields. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He already did his primary job with an interception earlier, but here he gets a chance to be a pass rusher and takes on the challenge of blitzing and makes another big play. That's something to file away and maybe break out later in this one or in a future game. Out to his left. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Escaping the pressure right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Alouzier with a pick. And the Bengals are going to have it here just past the 25. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. They know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Burrow. That's complete to Chase. The LSU connection. Burrow to Chase for the Cincinnati first. Here's Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw Burrow. That is taken in by Hurst. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears have just about sewn up this football game. We talk. 